coffee is a constant in a city that never stops evolving. Here, coffee shops are not merely destinations. They're spaces where life happens, where stories unfold, where the day begins. In the East Village, coffee is a cultural institution. Evolved across generations, leaving an indelible mark on the city and its people. Jamie. Oh, hello. Juliana, it's nice Hi. to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, Jamie. Nice to see you. Thank you for taking the time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You want to talk coffee? Sure. Let's go. Let's do it. The best way to drink coffee is the way you enjoy oh, it. Oh, right? 100%. Do what you want to do with your coffee, yep. you know? Forget about it. I, I love like coffee that. with milk. I love coffee by I itself. Love, yeah. I love coffee with milk. I love coffee with a lot of sugar. Yeah. I love I love it always. <laughs> when I was a kid, yeah. it totally gave me a reason to want to be alive. It was so intense for me to experience drinking coffee in a way okay. that was uh, just a kind of life affirming. I can't think of anything still that like exhilarates me more. You know. Than coffee. I love the tradition of pulling espressos on a, on a manual machine. I mean, I learned right? on a manual yes. machine. It's just like a, you know, it almost feels like a ritual, right? It is, it's 100% a ritual, and yes. it, 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 it's this muscle memory, and there is like, oh, so much has happened since I started doing coffee in the mm -hmm. 80s, but so much has changed. Seriously. I was maybe a sophomore in high school. Okay. And I was on a swing, uh -huh. and I remember very vividly thinking, I'm gonna open a coffee shop. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like college, okay. no we can do. Uh -huh. Like, it's a coffee shop for me. What is a Brussels? I have had a vision for years. Okay. And I got old, and then I opened the place. You know, I opened across the street, and now I open this place, yeah. and we do it, and everybody okay. that works here does it. I think it's very cool. You know, it's not like a mopey dopey kind of vibe. It's kind of loud and there's a little laptop. It has laptop. a lot of personality. As soon as I entered, I really yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. This place has transpired mm. my design. Do you think that it's a good representation of New York City? Uh, no. No? I think it's an oasis in New York City. Um, I don't think it's a great representation of New York okay. City. Okay. No, I think New York City is becoming really homogenized. And, okay. And uh, I think this place is never going to feel that way, you know? You get, every neighborhood has the same five stores. Like, this is not that. This is my only place. Yeah. We don't have aspirations to open 10. This is all I got. I used yeah. to have daydreams about, uh, like, how I would do it. You know, if I ever had my own place, how would I do it? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I'll play Rebel Rebel by David Bowie at six, and it turns into another place. And like, we have this totally, okay, yeah, like, yeah. it's going to be a coffee shop, uh -huh. it's going to be a raging bar at night. And it's kind of funny how I have it, you know, like, I kind of do. So the, you think that you achieve your your goals that you had? Do you feel content with the... Uh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Far exceeded my expectations of, wow. what, I, of what I was capable. Yeah, yeah I, love, I love the place. With every shot pool, decades of knowledge and tradition are imprinted, from legends who redefine coffee culture across the globe. Things have happened to me in coffee that are kind of unbelievable and kind of sound like fantasy and kind of sound like I'm making shit up. Okay, you know? do, you want to, do you want to share one? Well, I, I worked for the guy who invented the cafe latte, Lino Marion. I, I worked for him. Wow. And, yeah, it's pretty crazy, right? What did you, you do? I was a barista there. Okay. A barman, we called it. We didn't say barista. That was long before we used the word barista. It's called the Cafe Mediterranean, and uh, mm -hmm. I don't know how it happened with me. I got introduced to coffee through Carlo DeRuco, who is the guy who imported the first espresso machines into the West Coast. He imported the six group Aurora for the Mediterranean. So I got to know him and his family. And then I got to know the guy who is the head roast guy at Pete's now. His name is, mm -hmm. uh, oh, his name, he's a surfer dude. We used to borrow surfboards from him and skimboards from him. And I remember the day he said, I got to offer a job at Pete's. John Weaver is his name, John Weaver. Okay. He's like a huge person in coffee. And uh, I, I, I just feel like things have come my way, you know, like in yeah. a weird kind of way. 
you know? I helped open Blue Bottle, I worked with James Freeman. I mean, I feel like I've worked for the greatest. I have a lot of these uh, symbiotic kind of relationships with huge people in coffee. I don't know how it happened. I, I'm just a lucky guy, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why do you think that you've been able to have Abrazo for so many years? I don't even think about it. You don't, I mean, you don't think there's a key for success in coffee? I don't know. I mean, have I? Am I successful? I don't I really know. I think you are. I mean, it's like a... Every single person that I've met here in the city, you need <coughs> to go to Abrazo, you need to go to Abrazo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamie is the best. Mm -hmm. So what's your secret? Is it the passion? I think it might be the things that piss people off. It might be what I don't do that makes me popular, I think. Okay. Um, like, I don't have weird milk. I don't have decaf. So you're more traditional. If you can't find it in Rome, you probably won't find right it here. here. You know what I mean? But I love that. That's yeah. the way that I used to run my yeah. coffee business. We would get all the time people saying, hey, can I have a frappuccino with double caramel, whatever. My dad always used to say, okay, mm -hmm. can I make you just a regular coffee, right. like an espresso or a cappuccino, americano? Yeah. Try it. If you don't like it, I can add something else. You thought you wanted it, but now you didn't have it. You're like, oh, this is the greatest thing I've ever had. Yeah. yeah. Decades before third wave cafes became universal, New York coffee shops offered sanctuary to those in search of community and inspiration, fueling revolutions both personal and cultural. So how do you approach the new generations of coffee drinkers? The new generation of coffee drinkers are gonna be the same as the old generations of coffee drinkers. Oh, you think so? I do. I think that uh, people that prepare coffee yeah. are a little disillusioned about yeah. idiosyncrasies of uh -huh. um, how you prepare coffee, meaning times, yeah. temperatures, weights, okay. grams, you know, like all this kind of tamping pressure and I'm down with all of it, you know, I mean, I know yeah. it all, I've been there, it's case, everything, I mean, I know it all, but I have found yeah. that it really doesn't make a huge difference whether uh, you do it by way of scales yeah. and measurements and temperature gauges or if you do it by feel and intuition and you just kind of have a vibe and you kind of yeah. know if it's going to be i have I'm had i've had much more success with that a very strange thing that happened in coffee recently with the, all the waves like third waves for you know i don't yeah. in what wave are we in i, have I no mean idea. i i don't know Everybody has to let everybody know they know and yeah, I know I don't want to, you don't need to know that I know, <laughs> you know what I, mean? okay. I want a nice espresso I mean okay. like I buy a lot of estate Brazils that I love for what I do which is a working-class espresso Italian tradition okay. it, It's perfect for me So you are into the guy going uh -huh. to Costa Rica well, checking out okay. the right I just like the idea of direct trade. I understand. Coffee. I, I like understand. the idea of the farmer getting the credit and having the biggest I profit. That. I, I do like that too. Okay. I am you so but, but I also value a broker in okay. a sense that the, the broker is a Q grader. It's his life job. I, as a person going to Costa Rica or going to Ethiopia, I don't have that. Like right. I don't have the knowledge. I mean, I could put time into it. I have plenty of other things to do. I can't go to origin and really gauge okay. how good the green is. Yeah. If I go to Honduras and yeah. I meet a coffee producer, I'm going to be totally romanced by the family and the farm. And I'm going to be like, oh my God, this is great. We're going to make coffee. It just came off the tree. We just roasted it. And yeah. like, oh, sign me up for a container. You know, okay. I, but really I'm buying like a romantic vibe. Okay. It's this thing. And I'm not a Q grader. I'm going to go with it because I love the family. I love the yeah. kids. I love the. I love being in the farm and picking the coffee and yeah. we're going to roast it. We're, I just leave it to the broker. From the producing side, I would mm -hmm. love for people to know where the coffee is coming mm -hmm. from and to know the story of the farmers, right? We, can, have, we can find a happy middle. It doesn't have to be up of your face, like mm -hmm. 400 pages information, but awareness, right? We want recognition from the farmer. Yeah, mm -hmm. of course. We do. Somebody made this table. Somebody made the straw. True. Somebody made the ice machine that made this ice. Somebody grew that lemon. How far do you want to go? I mean, do you want to know everything about everybody? It's kind of my job to make sure that on my end, I'm doing things respectfully, okay. and I'm doing things on my end. As this person coming in, you don't have to worry about it. Trust me on this, you know? Okay. You have good people and good coffee. I do, yes. So Jamie, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me mm -hmm. and showing me New York through your eyes. You have an amazing 
a gem right here Thank in Abrazo. You. And I really wish you the best. You have strong opinions, which I love and respect. Yeah. You're very genuine, I can tell. Mm. Keep doing your thing. Hope it's to see you again pleasure. in the future. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for being here. New York's coffee culture is as diverse as the city itself. It's the baristas who know your order, the strangers who become friends, the travelers marveling at the city's rhythm over their first New York City espresso. Iconic, inspirational, magnetic. This is coffee culture in New York City.